Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at Alan's Patreon from the f yesterday, the 4th of April, 2024. And he's titled it Patreon, the truth about shutting down AD's free speech. Can we guess what it's about yet? Here we go. Hello, I'm Chair Detective. Singing. Early and late. Early and late. Technology, eh? Yeah. Sometimes it lets you down. <laughs> lets you not... down badly. Tonight, technology. You're good with technology, are you, Alan? Well, I'm Chair Detective. Pretty in pink. See, I've got the pink there to match the pink jacket of my painting. What an artist. Let me know when you can see me, guys. Yeah. I know what kind of artist you, you are. You've always had that pink Should light lately. Do do do. It always takes us a minute to run in. There we go. At least she started talking now. Oh, look at those teeth. Hello there. Thank you, Anna. Yeah. Right. I uh, I don't know what happened tonight. I put this show up an hour and a half ago, and it seems no one got any notifications. Oh dear. Which I find a little weird. Messed up, did you? In the chat. Hello, Riffa. When I, in the chat, all I could see was spanners. I thought, something wrong here? Because <laughs> I know the spanners, they all come in together, you know, with the link. And uh, I wasn't seeing any members. So I'm sorry to you guys that got late notice tonight, you, you members. But of course, you all watch it in your own time tomorrow anyway. It's just that obviously when I'm live, you get a chance to interact, you know. I've got a sort of. Not much of a chance. That I can't say much about this so called court case that's been thrown in my lap. Oh, here we go. You said so much lately, no doubt this is going to be another stream full about it. For the last three years, I can't really say much about it. It's so tied up in like lawyer speak and stuff. Lawyer speak. Right? Lawyer speak. But just want to, while we're waiting for people to come, I just want to show you, a bit of Scotland is AD, right? <laughs> Scotland has decided to bring in this bill that can, you can be taken to court for thinking stuff. In Scotland, which is a... No, not quite for thinking stuff. How do they know what you're thinking in your head? This is a part of the British Isles with about, I don't know, five million people in. Um, they decided to have different laws in England. Yeah, They've decided that if you say something in your house that someone doesn't like, you can call the police, right? If you're there at Christmas dinner and your grand says, send the migrants home, <laughs> you can go and report her. You had to use that example, didn't you, Alan? You like talking about migrants, don't you, and immigrants? Does that mean then if somebody in my house, if I lived in Scotland, said, I love AD, I could call the police on them? At 4,000 designated places, you can go and report what she said. And the police have to look into it. Right, right Mrs. Mrs. McNamara, age 92, you need to come down the station in Kilmarnock. We need to speak to you. Your granddaughter's reported you for saying you want the to go home. You can't say that in this country. It's hate speech to a minority, because at the moment, the migrant, migrants are a minority at the moment, but it will be the majority as time goes on. But anyway, so you are saying this. Another dig there. That's the law. I'm honestly, that, that is the actual law in Scotland today. Do you know when it came in? Yeah, April we know. Day. So since April Fool's Day, anybody can report anybody for anything as a hate crime. So if you've got something you don't like, your next door neighbour, right? <laughs> you could just do a police report. And it goes on their record. It's like, hate speech. Now... That's how crazy it's got. But of course, three years ago, it wasn't quite this crazy. Oh, here we go. When three years ago, I made a stand. But let's just talk. Let's just listen about hate speech for a minute. So you get an understanding. Video coming. Of weaponizing. Weaponizing. <laughs> let's people, not listen to it. Really. Talk TV. In Scotland. So... so we've got our big Alan on the screen now. Never misses a chance to do this. Listen, uh, there's a good chance somebody's trying to hack your website right now. You've got to make sure you're covered. The haters got me banned. I can't. It may be going a little bit far. What I would say is a defense. The haters got me banned. You never heard of an ad blocker, Alan? No, I thought not. And he has to chip in again later in the video. In fear. And this boils down to Alan Vinicom's case against Junior and Mr. Rusek, Frankie Junior Rusek, right? That young man is offended by what I said. I have never written to him. Oh. I've never called him out. I've never done anything to him or really? pointed people to do anything to him or anything. In fact, I have ignored his consistent threats for four years. Ignored it. And yet he takes me to court because he doesn't like my opinions. 
and he calls it slander without any proof. For alarm of, of their personal safety, surely. Exactly. I don't think they'd have initiated the court case unless they had some evidence, Alan, but hey ho. Now, I wonder who you could be talking about in this next bit. Is a woman. So it all comes down to this fear and alarm, stress and alarm, like Florida says, stress and alarm. You will find so-called creators on YouTube said, I don't mean to cause Alan any fear or alarm, <laughs> because that's what they're doing, right? Really? Uh, junior supporters have caused me so much fear and alarm, I can't even document it all, but I have documented a lot of it. Fear and alarm is what he has created along with his team, and I had to take a cease and desist out on him to try to stop him three years ago. Now, in his particulars to the court to try to sue me for slander, he didn't mention that. It, and by law, you have to say both sides of the story. I mean, it was armchair detective to this, armchair detective to that, but don't say why. Any policeman will say to you, all right, so you want to complain about... Not sure it matters why. The fact is that you did it. I'm not sure that it... You know, it's not like there's mitigating factors in this. What have you done to him? You want to complain about armchair detective. Why is, he, why is he saying these things about you? What have you done to him? And none of that was said. And that, that's why I'm saying this case is, is frivolous and should never go anywhere, because he started it. Him and his family stopped my book. Did they? He invaded the privacy of my channel and ruined my lives time after time. The privacy of your channel? It's YouTube, Alan. Any videos you put out there public? <laughs> the public! It's not private, idiot. After time. So much so I had to ban him. The same way Scott Wright had to ban him. And many other creators had to ban him. It's like a, I'm ruling this thing called YouTube. And you can't do that. And of course, by sending him a cease and desist, he got so annoyed that he decides to raise money to take me to court for slander. I've never slandered the bloke. Overrides women's rights. To I think he's taking you to court for defamation. Upside down. And lots of the police believe this too, by the way. We've... And then we pick up when the video ends, several minutes later. Open your car door while submerged. So that's what's happening in Scotland. But the, theory, the thing is, this is a police matter. They're talking about police. I'm, what, we're, what I'm in in is a civil matter. Now, yes. because of the amount of... Abuse thrown at me by this young man in big hateful letters. AD, Vinnie Scum, AD, you're going to rot in jail. AD, we're going to get you. AD, da da da. Which I've got it all. You've seen it on YouTube over the years. I've got it all. I've got Have it you? all. So, when Good I don't stand anymore after the book being closed down, I employed a professional solicitor, a top of the range solicitor, one of the 500 best in the country. As opposed to the non professional solicitors, eh? <laughs> to send him and his mum and dad a cease and desist. Please stop abusing Alan Vinnie Abuse. I could have easily just. Shout it out on YouTube and call him names and call them. I did it. I did it the right way. Threw a shot. It cost five thousand pounds. Five thousand pounds was spent on this. Five thousand pounds for a cease and desist letter. You got shafted, mate. This project of trying to get that family to leave me alone. It's a project now. And do you know what I got back from his solicitor? Nothing. No response to what he'd done. Just like technicality, technicality. Oh, technicality. You've done this wrong. You've done that wrong. But these are my lawyers. So I say to my lawyers, okay. He's not going to adhere to the cease and desist, not at all. He didn't, not at all. In fact, it made it worse. So he doesn't adhere to the cease and desist. So I say, right, you've got to take him to court now because you gave him the cease and desist, which is a warning. Now you've got to, now you've got to go take him to court. Mm -hmm. So, right, what's he going to cost? Well, he's in America. I say, he's in America. <laughs> it's not like I can make him come to court in England, is it? Well, you sent the cease and desist. The next thing you're taking him to court in North Carolina. Take him to court in North Carolina. How much is this going to cost? About 40K. Uh, what will that do? Well, he won't be able to talk about you anymore. Well, 40, I'll spend 40K so he can't talk about me anymore. So, no. No. So I abandoned it. I abandoned it. Yeah, you'd rather use that 40k on poker, wouldn't you? And other unmentionable things. Meanwhile, he starts a crowd justice fund on the back of a lying solicitor, who's not a solicitor, Claire, who says she's a solicitor, she's not. And when we tell them this woman is not a solicitor, they double down and say, well, she is. We can... Yes, she is. His mother says it and he said it. She is a solicitor, she's not. So then she starts a fund in England to destroy me and take me to court. He can't do a crowd justice in America. It's not in America. They've got to do it in England. So this lying lawyer, who's not a lawyer, and I say it to her face, you're not a lawyer, are you? Pretended to be a lawyer, contacted this Cohen Davis, and between them they concocted a fund to raise money to sue me. Between them they concocted this fund. Concocted? Based on that I lied about him and said he's got a criminal record when he hasn't. That was the basis of the thing, right? So what am I going to say? Is that the only point that they're arguing? I'm not sure that it is, Alan. I'm going to say he has got a criminal record. He has got a criminal record. And everyone goes, AD, you, that, you liar. His mother, his mother told us he hasn't got a criminal record. Well, I say he has got a criminal record. Meanwhile, the fund goes off. They have a, a whole weekend of hating me on YouTube and raised 20 grand. Oh. This goes to their head. Oh, we raised 20 grand a weekend. We can get him now. So I guess the stage now they've got 50 grand, but no one's paying anymore. And and he's take, trying to take me to court. I go, okay, you want me to go to court? If you want me to spend life-changing amounts of money, and what if I win? You're not going to pay. And their lawyer says, uh, our, our client has, has no money. He can't pay to go to court. We don't want to go to court. They literally told me, I swear to God, they don't want to go to court. They want money. They offered me to pay them money. Shut, shut me up, money. 
I think it's reasonably normal to try and come to some sort of settlement before actually taking it all the way to court. So I said, I want to go to court. And they said, we can't take you to court because our client hasn't got any money to take you to court. So just pay up the 50 grand we want now. No, I won't pay the 50 grand. 50 grand now. I'm sure recently you were talking about it being 100 grand. Take me to court. We can't. They haven't got any money. So they go another route. They go, well, your defence isn't good enough. We're going to get an on-less order. We're going to say that your defence isn't written properly because I'm not a lawyer, right? I'm litigant. Your defence isn't written up properly. Te technicality rule. For yeah, that was back in February, wasn't it? Sounds like you didn't get a solicitor to write that for you then. Rule 5662 We're going to get an on-less order. So if you don't get a proper defence in by a certain date, we're going to claim victory and you've got to pay us all the money. We don't want to go to court. We can't go to court. They haven't got any money. So the last resort is this on-less order. So I go and get a solicitor and what I've got to do to get it in the right form, I work on it with my friends for weeks. We, we get the defence. You go and get a solicitor and you work on it with your friends for weeks. Which is it, Alan? You can't have both. You either have a solicitor work with you on it and do it properly or you and your friends try and bolsh something together. I would think it was probably the latter, eh? Defence in and the unless order is finished, no good. My defence is accepted by the judge, I now have a defence. This drives them crazy. When it comes to now, they want to take me to court to manufacture the unless order that I haven't got a defence. That's their, this is them taking me to court for the good of the people, for, for, for help other people, families, right? They're not interested in that. Because they haven't got a case, they've gone along on an unless order, which means a technical order that my defence wasn't written in the right demeanour. <laughs> Knew it. That's all they got. They don't want to go to court. They don't want to go to court. They want me to give up. Well, you know me. I'm not going to give up. So this week, I've issued a counterclaim for money against him. And my God, they didn't like that. He did not like that. Within 24 hours, I get a long letter saying, la, 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 la. A letter saying, la, 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 la. You don't know, honestly. He tells that many lies. Don't know whether to believe him or not. But not any defence. Not any, okay, well, we see that you've done a... <laughs> so where we go from here? I don't know. I've, I've issued... Why is he laughing? It's not funny. Does this mean another five years? Another five years of letters? Fine by me. All my letters are by me and my team. Don't cost me a penny. Is it fine for Mr. Cohen? To... All my letters by me and my team and don't cost a penny. So, yeah, you, you're you not implying professional legal services. So what do you expect when things are... You submit things that are incorrect, idiot. To keep putting in thousands of pounds of letters and thousands of pounds of hours? I'm sure young junior there can pay, can he? He can pay Mr. Cohen, can he, all these thousands? Well, Cohen Davis have already provided a lot of free legal time to him. There's no reason to suspect that that wouldn't continue in some fashion. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to spend money organising the defence and now organising a counterclaim without any hope of getting paid. Because he lives in North Carolina, and he's not going to pay. And that's why the course, the case can never go to court because he can't, he can't lose because he can't pay. So how's the judge going to say, right, we're going to have a, we're going to have a court case on the twenty fourth of August? And I'll say, I wonder if that's a real date or a made up date. Very specific. Well, has he given money to the courts in case he loses? And they go, no, he hasn't got any money. So how can he go to court? This is like so ridiculous. All it's doing is prolonging the agony on my head. Which... Do they have to put money? I mean, I don't know. Do you, ha do you have to lodge a certain amount of money in, uh, you know, to what mitigate against the possibility of you losing? I've not heard of it, but I'm not a legal eagle. I'm not like Alan. I won't pretend to be one. If you know, please put it in the comments. Which limits my efforts for you guys. Oh, it, it limits my ability to do anything because all I'm doing is fighting. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm fighting as a lawyer. So all I'm doing is reading books, doing stuff. This. So this is an excuse for providing shit content, basically. That and the other against the other side who's trying to beat me on a technicality. They're not interested in the law. They're not interested in what I've done because they haven't got anything. Everything they based on was on videos or something like I did years ago. And all my videos are taken off of YouTube. I don't have any videos on YouTube. So they say, well, you did this back in uh, last year. You said this, this and this. How can I How can I fight that when I haven't got the videos anymore? How can I even, how can I even talk about their... Accusations when their accusations no longer exist. Their accusations, as has been said many times, they they will have copies as evidence. I'm quite sure they've had them authenticated. Who knows? At the time before you got kicked off YouTube, they may have even got the originals from YouTube, and you know, evidence been authenticated. So you can't turn around and say that they're made up videos and things now, and it's your own fault you don't have copies anyway. You do your backups. Accusations are null and void because they don't exist. And they say, well, we've recorded it. Look, here's the video. I say, I don't want that. If you see what they do to my videos, they distort my face and change my words and cut things off. <laughs> I'm not taking any of those videos as evidence. There is no evidence now. It's all gone. 
They're saying we've recorded you. And I'll say, how do I know you haven't doctored this? And the judge will go, yes, Mr. Vinicom, you're right. We can't no longer accept any videos. As, as no, you don't know that. Honestly, you think they're just going to come up with recordings that can't be authenticated in any way? Are you that sick? Well, I don't know. look who I'm talking to. As evidence. So that's where we are. More pain, no gain for anyone. The only thing that's going on is all you people that gave him 50,000 bands, they can't stop, can they? Because the minute this ends, they can ask for their money back. Are they? They can ask for their money back because this case can't go to court. All the time, they paid to have me in court, right? We're giving you money because we want to see him stand in court. They don't want to take me to court. They want to set my head of court. They can't even afford to go to court. They have no money. Do they? As well, they've got this far. And as of today, the Crowd Justice Fund is sitting around £59,000. Uh, it's another stretch target uh, in progress. Who knows if they'll get it or not, but they've got this far. As his lawyer told me, our client isn't working and he has no money to go to court. But why are you doing it then? If you, if you don't have the money to go through it, why do all the threatening letters? Why ask for this money and that money? And why do all this on letter if you can't do it? Well, I'll tell you this, Junior. Show me the money. If you want to go to court, lodge £100,000 with the court. In show me the money. London, so I can do the same. Put the money off or shut up. What, you can do the same? You're saying you've got a, a hundred grand to lodge with the court? I don't think so. Shut up. Put the money off to go to court or shut up and take it down. Now, the money they've had so far, £50,000, is all gone. On, I guess, work by his lawyers, I suppose. <laughs> work by his lawyers, I suppose. You think? And how do you know it's all gone? I mean, it probably has by now, but you don't know that for a fact. I don't know what the judge is going to say. No, you don't. How's the judge going to bring this to court? Because to go to court, he has to lodge a load of money. He hasn't got any money. The only hope is to beat me on a technicality. Whatever you read in the newspaper one day, or he gloats, oh, I won, AD lost. He's only won because of technicality that I haven't got a lawyer. That's the only thing he's won. It's sort of hollow. Quite a big technicality, being that you've done all your documentation wrong, etc., because you, you're too tight to pay for a, a proper legal advice. Your own fault if that happens. And if they win on a technicality, it's still a legal technicality. It's still a win for them. And a loss for you. Hollow victory, isn't it? Oh, yeah, my brilliant lawyers have found clause 52 stroke 5721. No, and not hollow. And he's given the case to them. That's the only thing he's going to win. And then I'm going to say I haven't got any money. And he's never going to get a penny out of me. I'm literally broke. Which I told him I've lent you a billion times. Here we go. But what they didn't expect is that I am counterclip suing. Now, that's a different story because now, if the judge rules that they've done this frivolously and I win the counterclaim, there's a way of getting the money off that family. Because they have money. A lot. Do they? I believe it or not. Frankie's done all this with his mum and dad. They closed my book down. They did a weekend fundraising to get me on YouTube. Not just Frankie, his whole family. Careful what you wish for. Because I don't give up. I've sent you a cease and desist and you threw it in my face. You got my book closed. Right, so you're here talking behind your Patreon paywall. Uh, that you always say is not uh, meant for public consumption and talking about the Watts case, etc. and the Ruzex. Um, they have no need to ever see this and yet here you are talking to them. You know damn well that this could be seen by them. Closed down and laughed about it. You put me on Denver television as a bad person and Denver took it down. Denver wrote me a letter. Sorry, we've taken you off the film, Alan. Yeah, I'm the one being sued for slander. You are. I'm the one being sued for slander. Careful what you wish for. I'm counter suing. Makes you wonder, doesn't it, about all those. I haven't got a criminal record. I can't go to work because I'm very detective. It's so affecting me, I can't go to work. Makes you wonder when you've said it on recordings and to the courts that you can't go to work because of Chris Watts. You're depressed because of Chris Watts. Not I'm detective. All this is what we call real evidence, not backslappers saying, oh, you're right. Is you're, it? Yeah, he's a terrible man. No, this is actual evidence. Yeah, right. You admitted you went to my publisher and got the book closed down, didn't you? It's cool. Well, there must have been a damn good reason for that. And, uh, you know, why not take the book somewhere else? Can't say it's due to lack of money, eh? It's called evidence. They never intended to take me to court. They thought I made a fortune from the case, which I didn't. Really? They never got a penny out of the book. They were fed information that was making thousands on Patreon, which was totally distorted hearsay. Shout out to Lizzie. It lies, but they continue to say, yeah, double down, yeah, yeah, all these money, I didn't. And I can prove it. Can you? Well, 
I hope you can because, you know, if you do lose and you have to pay them uh, a judgment, you do know that they will go through your finances. And even if it's a pound a week or something, you know, that can be done. And who knows, maybe even bailiffs or something. And if you don't comply with any legal order like that, maybe jail. Who knows? Well, a big talk here, aren't you, Alan? Everything is mug and mirrors by then. Mug and mirrors. And I just want to get in front of a judge and I want to cross examine Junior about his criminal record that he hasn't got. He raised money by saying I lied about him in the criminal record. I want to cross examine him. I have the criminal record, by the way. Do you? Yeah. He said I have the criminal record, not that I have a criminal record. I have the recording from the FBI, whatever, of him saying he couldn't work. So he's from the FBI? Years. I have the court case where he went to court and said they can't sleep because of Chris what Chris Watts done. And you want to sue me on the basis you can't work because of me? You come to my country to do it? My country. I think that a British judge is going to believe that when I show him the evidence. I'm kind of suing. Yeah, we know. I had a letter within 24 hours about that. Yeah, we know. I can't say nothing because it's all ongoing criminal case, can I? <laughs> can't say nothing. Did you just say an ongoing criminal case as well? It's civil. Let's just go back. I had a letter within 24 hours about that. And I can't say nothing because it's all ongoing criminal case, can I? Criminal case. It's ongoing civil case. Okay. Yeah, he said criminal and then corrected himself. So you keep saying you can't say nothing, as you say, but you keep going on about this. And it, even now. I can't talk about it. I told you as much as I can because you're my patrons. And I've done it behind a paywall, so I'm not doing it for the public. I'm doing it for my paying customers. All 19 of them, eh? And, and like I said before, you're doing it behind a paywall for your paying customers, yet you're talking directly to camera to the Rusex. Because you need to know. You need to know what's ruining our community is what they're doing. Ruining our community? You imagine what community? To destroy your life ongoing for two and a half years. Okay, stuck now. People aren't believing it anymore. Since this criminal record is known as truth, it lost all his support. He should never have come after me. Well, he did. And even if he wins, it'll be a whole victory. Because if he wins, it'll be a technicality that I didn't fill out a form on the right day. Is that a win? Well, whose fault is that? It's all part of the legal process. You should have you know, not being so tight, get proper legal advice and do it properly. All your own fault. I win to you. Why yep. won't he fight me in court based on the lie that I said he's got a criminal record? Take me on on the facts, not the technical issues. Doesn't matter. Now I can cross-examine him in a trial. This is brilliant. Because I know I've done nothing wrong. I did it the right way. When he was crucifying me with those big letter statements so he's going to destroy me, I did nothing. I said nothing. I got a lawyer, a good lawyer, to ask him to stop politely with a cease and desist. He threw it in my face and carried on. And then there's the audacity to take me to court in my own country. Yeah, audacity. Well, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm nearly 70. I don't care. There's nothing they can do to me. Nothing. Maybe the Colorado newspaper will pick off if it goes to trial that Frankie's taking me to court because I lied about an criminal record. I don't know what the law is in America where they can print criminal records. But I, I don't know. It's not my business. But once the... why, do, why does that matter? Why are you concerned what newspapers in Colorado print about the case? It's very... Specific that? This is a trial. It's public knowledge. We'll see. Thousands of people have talked about this case. I'm not interested in their side. I'm only interested in Nicole Kessinger being interviewed. Because she... A Here we go again. In the road that day. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. In the road that day. There's no proof she went to work. No proof at all she went to work that morning. But there's proof she was in the road. And if you can't see my videos where she stood there, then you're blind. Your videos, really? They're suing me when their own DA told them everybody died in the house. And I proved they didn't. Yeah, they're suing me, not their DA. Their DA lied to them and said everybody died in the house. And they're suing me for telling them that. Truth. The girls were alive under the truck the next day. And they're suing me. Just a reminder, you did not find the shadows, Alan. That was Diane Hughes. Not the DA. I saw them carried out of the trash one by one deceased. No, you didn't. Oh. You later admit. Why, why does it have to say things like that? It's horrible talking about murders like that. Gross. Grotesque. The myths, no, they didn't die in the house, actually. No, the shadow proves they were alive. That we sent him every day for a year. Yeah, I want this in court. I want all of this to be said in court. Bring it on. Bring it on. The public deserves to know the truth that you've got a record. The public deserves to know that DA lied. The public needs to know that you destroyed my book. The oh, did totally, totally ignored my cease and desist. 
I don't know what to say. Probably Please find something. I got reported half a million times to YouTube and eventually they relented and got me off. Not just me, but anybody that said N Kessinger was involved has been thrown off YouTube now. So what else can I do then? I have to counter suit, don't I? I mean, I'm pushed into a corner where I have to counter suit. I can't do anything about it because it's an ongoing court case, but I am going to counter suit. I'm legally allowed to say that. How many times have you said that already in this one stream? I haven't come to you to pay for it ever. Because there's no point. Because whatever it costs, it will never pay. There's no point in me raising money. No, but you're probably setting the groundwork here. Where's Nancy? So there you are. You need a bit of outline what's going on and where we are. Cost so much to do in the UK. <laughs> imagine if I um imagine if I had money. I'd have had to raise like two hundred thousand pounds so far. To get to where? Oh, we don't want to go to court, actually, Mr. Vinicum. We want you to pay us money, but we can't afford to go to court, so you better just give us the money. What's it? Some sort of high chaparral? Do you think I'm gonna pay the money you're asking for? Because you asked for it. It doesn't work like that in England. You actually... Another dated reference there, the high chaparral. So you have to prove things. I know that online in your echo chambers, oh yeah, poor family, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that in law. You have to actually prove stuff. You actually have to prove that I've been, I've never spoken to the guy. I've never written him a message. I did it through a lawyer the proper way, Mr. Judge, you obviously did. I sent. Did you know, folks, <laughs> you have to prove it, a... things in a court of law. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Hmm. He thinks everybody's sick. And Mr. Rusek, a cease and desist letter, an official one, and they threw it in my face. This candidate is not professional winner from one of the best firms in the country, Duncan Lewis. Duncan Lewis sent him a cease and desist, not me. Duncan Lewis got a letter back saying they were unprofessional when it, it was rubbish. Duncan Lewis advised me to sue him. I told Duncan Lewis, he lives in North Carolina, what a waste of money that would be. And that's, and then this solicitor agreed with me. My solicitor said, Mr. Minigam, I wouldn't do it over you. You're never going to recover costs. I wouldn't do it. What did his solicitor say to him? Oh yeah, do it. You'll get 150, 200,000. Yeah, you can, it's viable. Do it. Bad advice, right? Bad advice. I don't know. I think they've got a decent track record. I'm sure they wouldn't have took it on unless they thought there was a damn good chance. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Because you're my patients and you need to know what's going on. Yes. So the bottom line is I'm counter suing. No doubt. I've written it out wrong. And I'll be getting a letter saying, we dispute this um, counterclaim because it's not written in the right way. And I'll say, well, I'm a litigant. The best I can do. I'm a litigant. The best I can do. It's not the best you can do. You could get proper, you know, employ proper legal advice. It's your own fault. You're doing, trying to do all this stuff yourself. In you think? See what, see what you think. See what the judge thinks. You see, they're not the judge. The judge is the judge. By him the judge is the judge. He's not the judge. By saying my defence is unprofessional, he's not the judge. But he will now say that my counterclaim is not professional. He's not the judge. I want to see the judge. I want to see the judge. I've got a lot to say to the judge. You've but got a lot to say to everybody. There's never going to be a court case. Because the other side can't afford to go to court. So you keep saying there's never going to be a court case, but then you say... I'm looking forward to cross-examining him in court. Which is it? I thought the whole idea was to take me to court, wasn't it? To embarrass me, wasn't it? Fingers in the mouth oh, no. again. I forgot it's for money, isn't it? It's not. It's not to take me to court to embarrass me. It's to get money, isn't it? Because they can't go to court. So in that case, they want money. I don't have any money. Right. The show goes on. Or another show. The circus goes on. I'll let you know as much as I can. I can't talk about an ongoing case. Other than it's on. But you have done. All the way through the stream. It's ongoing. I don't know if I'm going to die first or who's going to conclude first. It's a race. It's a race. Will I die first or will this case ever finish first? I don't know. Quite a few have died on the way already, haven't they? Trying to get sympathy quite there. Quite a few of the protagonists have died already. I would say, knock it on the head. Have they? Protagonists? Because it it's not their money. It's, that's the trouble when you use other people's money to sue someone. You can't uh, just stop. You have to carry on because it's not your money. Yeah, but you, well, why, you? why do it if you haven't got any money? Well, it's not our money. Well, now you've got to spend your money. You spent their money. Now you've got to spend your money. To go to court, I want to go to court. Put the money off so we can go to court. Your money now, not the, they're not going to pay anymore. The public's not going to pay anymore. They're done. You've got to put up your money so we can go to court. I want to go to court. Put the money off. I'm ready. I've got all my evidence. Have you? Is that going to happen? Hope so. I'd say it looks like it is, yeah. So, I've got nothing bad to say about Junior Frankie. Nothing. Nothing. He said plenty to say about me. I'm not responding. No interest. My interest in this case is Nicole Kessinger gets questioned. That's it. Him make yeah, we know you're interested in Nicole Kessinger, eh? Making it about him. It's not my fault. I'm not interested in that side of the anything. I'm just interested in how the hell did Chris do this on his own? That's it. And it's like, there's people talking about that case on YouTube tonight. Is there? Isn't there? It's public hate. It's like saying, all right, everybody shut up about the Yorkshire River. Can't do it. Everybody shut up about Ted Bundy. Can't do it. What? Everybody shut up about the Idaho murders. Can't do it. 
Stop talking about Wales. Does it happen? I've never known a family take over YouTube like that in this case. Not in this aggressive way. I don't think it's so much to do with talking about the case as such. It's certain specific things that they say that you said. Uh, I didn't see them personally, so allegedly, etc. But others, I believe, saw the videos, saw what you said. I know at least six creators that have taken off YouTube because of this case. Do you? I know one. <laughs> they never stop people talking about the case. I don't think that was ever the idea anyway. The idea was to get some money off me, wasn't it? Let's face it. I was seen as making money and I, I, I got to pay. You that did. Was years ago. I earned any money for years. A little bit of money to survive, but nothing like the money I earned in the first place. That's all. That doesn't happen anymore. But anyway, yeah, just to reiterate, I've taken out a counterclaim. I've countersued. What will happen with it, I don't know. I'm disputing their claim. I'm I'm totally innocent of all charges. And I've got my evidence to prove so. So that's where it is. If they want to continue, it's going to cost them a lot more money. I'm happy to stop both the countersuing and the suing. Come to an arrangement. Why the claims clean start again? Here we go. He's hoping they see it and he's trying to say... He doesn't want to get taken to court. Does he? he wants to try and... He thinks by countersuing that gives him some leverage and that they can both agree to stop it, and then that's him clear and free. Not quite how it works, I don't think. But if I want to talk about the Watts case, I will. And I do, and I do. but what's the point now? Nothing to say about it, other than the question on these questions. A while back, you said you, wouldn't go you weren't going to be talking about the Watts case ever again, and you do frequently. Isn't it weird that no one talks about questions you really do they? You're obsessed, man. I think that's it. Just wanted you patrons to keep 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 supporting me. Never give up. And remember, I'm not asking you money to fight this case. I could easily say I need money to fight this case. But I don't want to waste your money. Reverse psychology here. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking you for money. But if you feel like sending me some, I'm not going to refuse it. Because he's never going to pay. So I'm not going to ask you to pay to waste your money. We'll fight it. And I believe in the justice system in England that will not let this happen. Other than he does have a chance with his technicality. Because I'm not a lawyer. If the, if the judge says, Mr. Minicum, you've breached code CP6255 BBBB, I have to say, I can't, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and they go, well, that's why you lost. And I go, well, I appeal because I just want to tell my truth. I want to, I want to tell my truth. It doesn't work like that, Alan. You can't appeal because you chose not to get legal uh, representation. Tell my truth in court. I want to cross-examine the claimant. And I don't want to get this sorted out whether he's got a criminal record or not. I want him to admit he's got a criminal record. I want to admit they closed my book down. I want him to admit that I never stopped him working. That's what I want to do. Of course, if they lose, they're going to have to pay hundreds of thousands of pounds in fees on it. Not for you. Not my fault. I didn't want any of this. I just, I just wanted to send a cease and desist to stop it. To stop it. That's all I wanted to do was stop, stop, stop. Well, the final thought, why didn't they send me a cease and desist? Mr. Minicum, we don't like your um, hypothesis on the Watts case. It's causing us distress. We want you to stop talking about the Watts case. Why didn't they send me a cease and desist? Why did it have to be about money? Why didn't they just do it through a lawyer? Maybe because they knew that you'd totally ignore it. It wasn't worth doing. To shut me off. Never did, did they? If they really wanted me to stop, you do the protocol, which is you send a cease and desist, and then you get an injunction. That's how you get to stop. Civil cases is about the money. Civil cases don't go to court. It's about settlement. Cease and desist and injunction is about trying to shut someone off. They don't want to shut me off. They're going to shut me off with an injunction. No, they want to sue for money. And apart from all that, I have the right to have an opinion about a case that's on Dr. Phil, Netflix, where there's a discovery file. I said most there's a difference between having an opinion and being defamatory. There's movies made about it. I have a right to have an opinion on that. You cannot control a person's thoughts. And that's why I'm fighting. Not just for me, but for all of YouTube. We can get shut up now. If I lose this, they'll use that to shut up other creators, won't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you forget that? If they win this case, they go for every single one of you that's talking about the Watts case. Trying to garner support. I don't, but again, this is his Patreon. What good is this when he, it supposedly other YouTube creators aren't going to see it? It doesn't end with me. It starts with me. You think I'm the end? No, I'm the start. I'm, I'm the guinea pig. Imagine You're if pig. I had uh, £200,000 and I gave up and gave him £200,000. What do you think they would do next? They go after someone else. And then someone else. And so they pick off everybody and talk about the watch case one by one. No, it's not going to happen. I was only a small YouTuber in the grand scheme of things. I wasn't like Netflix or Dr. Phil, was I? Nope. Why am I so important to them? Hmm. Well, I've had a good night. Because my team, Chelsea, beat Manchester United 4-3 with two goals in the last minute. So I thought Chelsea were going to lose, and they won. So I can go to bed happy. 
and I'm pleased that I've got in my count claim. I'm count suing William Franklin Rusek Jr. for harassment. Harassment. And ruining my name. And giving me that stress yourself? and harm. Stress and fear and harm. And anxiety. And everything else that goes with it. With this gang of gang stalkers that I've got all monitored. There we go. Gang stalkers. Monitored. Oh, yeah. He was in their <laughs> chats, all right. I've got it all. Do you think I haven't got it all? I have. But not saying anything else. I'm going case, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm Chair Detective. I have counter sued William Franklin Rusev Jr. We know. And there are many letters that his lawyer sends me. I'm not stopping. Thanks a lot. Good night. See you soon. <laughs> The usual stuff, usual crap it comes out with. Right, well, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please like, sub, uh, share it out. And I'll see you next time. That's all, folks.